Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we're actually doing something a little different than I was gonna, the, than I was actually planning for and expecting for. We're going to go out and try and do the next Friar quest because it's been a really long time since we've built onto that quest line and it's a level 5 mission here and also I want to bring out the fire team. So we've got Aruki, we got um, Inosake, I believe it's pronounced Inosake. Um, so that this is the one that we found as the prisoner. We've got Ash, and we've also got Will June as our healer. And I think this should be a, a pretty effective team. I'm really hoping it will be. Uh, we've got some interesting stuff going on here. The healing should be enough to keep everyone topped off. Um, and in terms of like trinkets and stuff, I've gone kind of with a bit of a strange setup. So in the front here with Aruki, we've got uh, the extra damage and extra scouting chance and um, monster surprise chance. I think that's going to help out a little bit just for that extra bit of damage um inosake has got uh the bleed uh synergy going on with lacerate i know that she's only got lacerate so i'm not sure how well this will work but going for extra bleed chance extra bleed uh, amount as well as a massive bonus to crit on both of these so bleed chance and crit chance should be relatively high here this should be really really good then ash is going the full full on helpful route uh, with the Cherish Keepsake and the Otherworldly Bell, essentially trying to do a little bit of AoE stress healing and AoE healing. And then Will June going with the extra speed and prot and the um, healing as well, just to help out in the back line there. And like I said, I was planning on leveling up some of our level 4s here, but I actually think that this here, this setup that we've got going on, will be uh, really, really good for us and we should be able to get a good amount going. We have a, a good few diary entries to get into here. So let's uh, jump on in. We're, we're in the wield here, so bleed should do pretty well. Um, seems to be the best place for it. And we do have Ash that has his cleansing fire, which allows him to heal himself, but not others. So we'll, we'll play around with that and see how useful that ends up being. I've not gone with a super, super tanky build here, so I'm hoping this works out. We might have to pull away if things are looking a little uh, a little more difficult, but let's get into the provision screen and let's, uh, let's buy up pretty much everything we can here. Um, and we're pretty much good to go. So let's embark onto our mission with these guys and hope. I'm just going to make sure positioning's right. I can still do all my heals from back here. Also, by the way, we've got really good scout chance because we have Vanguard here. He, he actually has 10% uh, prot there and 10% prot there and the Vanguard for the scouting chance um, as well as the uh, scouting chance on this here. So we're going to have pretty good scouting chance. I think that's going to be a big help for us. Um, but let's jump on in. Like I said, we've got a few diary entries to get into so I'm going to go into those, but we're on for the Friar. The Friar has been disappearing more often as of late. The people looking to him for guidance more so than ever. Should tragedy fall upon the hamlet once more, it'll be him that people turn to, not you. So this is the first diary entry by Strange Wonder for Katrina Duran, our Philomath. T take me back. Take me back. Carry the torch. Light bright, shining into my eyes. Blood. It's all blood no matter where you see. I've been in the library with no success, nothing. I can't see anything. I've been hungrier than usual this last week. Then it stopped. Release. It was released. I heard a scream from the forest. I wonder what rot tastes like. No, focus. I need to focus. Find clues. Understand. I'll do that soon, yes? The air. I'll talk to the air. I must. As you can see, Katrina Duran going a little bit crazy there. A little bit crazy. Um, as as uh, the character does suggest, but it's an interesting fact, sorry. Yeah, another one from Strange Wonder here for Josephine Crowley, our ringmaster. I bloody love this place. So many things to smash. So many new people to meet. So many new stars to be born. My circus cannot wait. The time I've spent within these ruins has been a blast. The sound of bones crushing under my mace. The sounds they all made. Oh, I need to take one of them. Uh, one, one of them. Take one of the heads of those bugs with me. Now I can sh uh, can't show Frank that I've been bitch slapped. <laughs> that I've bitch slapped a giant mosquito to death. Bummer. My god. <laughs> the others were no fun though. This quiet guy with a harpoon gun. What's his face? Com uh, face came close. But he was a little too doom and gloom. And the other two, I don't even remember. No star potential at all. Had to do uh, the shining all by myself. They better let me have some fun with a few more of those promising ones here. Wow, so she's basically just turned this entire place into a show. I kind of love that. That's 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 some that's some just overtly 
overtly destructive confidence that I'm sure will get her into trouble with some people. And I'm excited to see how this goes. But yes, jumping in here, we are going with the full fire setup. I've never done this before. I've especially never done two classes on one team. But I feel like this is just... It's just one of those moments, isn't it? You just have to go for it because... It's something we haven't done before, and I think it'll be fun. I'm, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried about our survivability. We'll have to see, because obviously this is a level 5 area. Um, we'll get rid of that immediately. Um, yeah, we're in a level 5 dungeon, and we've, we've said before level 5 dungeons are more dangerous. I have brought a little bit of prot along with us on some characters that needed it. Um, ooh, these are new enemies. I've not seen these before. Um, but yeah, we brought prot where we needed it, and I think that should help out a lot. Um, we're going to start off with the accuracy debuff. And honestly, we're going to do the accuracy debuff again. That's going to be a super, super, super good way to start off battles, I think. Um, and then we go damage here. Get that extra damage, accuracy, and crit. Uh, we got bleed here. We can go with um, incinerate here, but we kind of want to wait on incinerate essentially until we get ourselves um, until we get ourselves a few corpses, so we can actually clear up some stuff with that. But we'll just go for the hit for now. No bleed, unfortunately. I do not know what these enemies do. I've never seen them before in my life. I have no idea how dangerous they are. Level five dungeons. I don't even know if they're vanilla. I think they're modded. I think they're modded. Um, these guys are just Grievous jumping around everywhere. Okay, so these guys have already got quite a lot of blight on them. I'm not sure what the scamper business is doing here. I think it's just building their, their crit buffs. Let's have a little look. See, So we'll, we'll party heal here and make sure everyone's okay. Hopefully that blight won't be too big of a problem. Them being surprised is actually kind of a problem because as you saw, they got a lot of turns in a row. Which is especially annoying. Um, also, we do need to be making sure that we're using bleed on the right character. I think that was the right one there, Inosuke. Um, we're going to go for a Molotov on you. Ah, oh, unfortunate miss there by Ash. Um, we got a lot of Blight there, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. And... Well, what sort of damage can we do here? We're a little bit tight for damage. Let's just go with bleed there as well, I think. Actually, they both resisted there. Unfortunate. I'm not sure why they're scampering like this. Maybe they have a specific move that they can do when in the back line. That's definitely a little scary. It's always, it's always a little bit worrying when you can see an enemy that constantly keeps moving to the back. Set you on fire. Because you know that they're going to set up for some big attack that's going to be horrible. Um, so, a rookie here. Let's just go with a flame. Set you on fire as well. Ash actually has a specific fire move. Oh, no. And Asake just, uh, just missed. It's okay, though. This is actually relatively effective in terms of damage. I, I wish I would have uh, set up a be bit better blight resist, but the healing that we're getting here is outweighing the blight, so we shouldn't have to worry about that too much. And we're, we're, we're getting relatively good AoE damage here. I actually think I'm going to go for that there. Give them no One good thing about this is we're going to deal damage to ourselves, but you got to remember that we're going to get healing back, even if it's not a massive amount. Continually onslaught. Destroy. we got to just take a little look, though. How much damage does this do on average? Um, Suffer six damage. So why did we take 14, then? I'm not sure why that was. We took 14 damage there for that one. And I'm not exactly sure the reasoning there. There's that bleed coming out. Get an extra round of bleed duration as well here, which is quite nice. Probably want to get rid of this blight now. This is quite a lot. I'm hoping we get an extra heal in here. Indeed we do. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that. There's a lot of our blight, um, our uh, anti-venom gone already, which isn't great. That's okay, though. It's okay. Hopefully, we should be able to use food a little bit here for uh, a little bit of extra healing. But yes, uh, the air has come along here. Uh, just sort of, he hasn't been out in quite a long time. And I think he just wants to explore the um, the warren, uh, the weald, sorry, and, and see what's available, what's out there for for her to find out, um, for him to find out, sorry. Uh, so let's, we're going to have to find the hastily carved stones. So we want to be, um, we want to be kind of making our way through everywhere, pretty much. We don't want to skip anything. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to go 
skipping rooms because we'll have to travel back. We do have a lot of scouting, so hopefully that should help us find what we need because it'll tell us the uh, quest locations. So I'm hoping... Here's one of them already. Um, so I think we just grab this, don't we? Maybe this will summon an enemy. I'm not actually sure. No, okay, we're good. Uh, I was I was kind of convinced that that was going to summon some sort of enemy there, but we actually got away from that pretty scot-free. So unfortunately, we are taking some some pretty annoying uh, stress uh, stress checks to all of these traps around here. Not great, but we we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Stress relief isn't a big, isn't really a big thing in this team. So I'm hoping that stress doesn't build up too much. We do have a prevent nighttime ambush, I believe, um, on the air. Yes, there we go. In fact, that's a very, very good night uh, prevent nighttime ambush. The research there, because that's if if you had a little look there, that's going to give us extra um, chance, to, uh, less chance for party to be surprised, and extra chance monsters to be surprised. And both of those are, of course, very important stats. We don't really get surprised that much because we play in very Most high light. light uh, we, we tend to stay above 75%, so we very and rarely get surprised by monsters. Clear. But it can still happen, even as a low chance. And while with this team, it's not as bad. With some other teams, it can be a really big problem. So having having an anti against that. Okay. What'd you get there? Oh, I, think he, I think he resisted it. Looks like he was going to get a quirk there, but resisted it. Nice one, Ash. Let's keep pushing forward. Here's our next turn. Ooh, why is this one red? I've never seen a red one before. Uh, we got the Hex coming in. Marks us. Probably want to take this guy out first. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's just go for the accuracy debuff here. Really? You resist that? Okay. Um... I'm going to go for the heal again here. I'm a little worried about this guy, actually, because th this this enemy can be very, very problematic, especially while marked. So let's get that on you. Give me some burning over time. Oh, we're getting some unfortunate misses here. Big slime coming in. Some bad debuffs there. Heal. Nice heal with a bonus to dodge as well. Very nice to see. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Ash. Extra crits received is very nice. Okay, you're hexing the back two as well. So everyone's marked at this point, uh, which is kind of problematic, but you are burning for quite the high amount. You are getting set ablaze. Um, I'm actually just going to go for this again. Oh, unfor we're getting really bad misses at the moment. It's, it's, it's definitely unfortunate. Luckily, we got the dodge there as well, though. Rain of Light coming in. We just, we don't want this guy to have his big turn. Um, we're going to, we're going to just focus on taking you out. I think you should be dead to the fire next turn. Nice dodge. That's very, very useful. And there you go. As the fiend Perished. A faint hope blossoms. Let's go for that. Did it literally, it literally just hit the corpse. Are you kidding me? That's, that's terrible. Um, let's get rid of that. I really need more anti-venom. Um, and get a good heal on you. We've got some prot, so we don't mind being at 23 health here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, we really should have buffed up people's resists, because it's obvious that, that, that we're struggling with that. Obvious. Get a bit of flame on there. Big slime coming in again. Nice dodge once more in a second. We'll go for that on there. I like the extra crits received. More blight. This, this is insane. We're, we're just taking absurd amounts of blight right now. Absurd amounts of blight. Please get another crit. Ah, unfortunate. Can you leave her alone, please? <laughs> we need to heal her up. Yeah, there you go. I, I didn't I didn't really think about just how much blight we might possibly take on this mission and it's 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 a lot. Okay, nice. Mark press shouldn't be too big of a problem. We've already been marked this whole time, so. Okay, you're dead to the fire. The fire and the flames. We go with that. I was hoping for a crit there while bleeding, but we didn't get it. Get another fire going there. Stoke the embers. 
Ooh, that's a pretty big hit there. And a stun as well. I didn't realize that could stun. Not a, not a huge problem considering the health and the bleed. Um, especially considering we can do this, which gets us all near to full health. I think we're going to be okay here. Nice, guys. And there you go. The, bigger the, beast, the, the fire the takes glory. over. We'll grab ourselves this stone. Glittering gold. Good, Trinkets good. We're two, we're two out of uh, three now, so we're not that far off of the end of this quest. Although, I imagine the last stone will be all the way at the very end over there. Because why wouldn't it be? Right, so... We need to strategically camp here. I'm not sure when's going to be the best time. 70, 70, 80, 60. This is a really, really low trap disarm group, unfortunately. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung, um, thirsting for blood. If that's you. Meh, okay. That's fine. That, that could actually be useful considering we're getting high up, uh, up there in the stress levels. We got another one of these, and we've also got Hag the Surprise. Should help out a lot here. Um, I think because everyone's got a little bit of health missing, let's just go for the heal right off the bat here. Um, so for six damage, if we were to do this, it wouldn't exactly do much damage, would it? Let's just go for this. Get that huge debuff going. And then incinerate, 5 to 10, 5 to 10. As much as it hurts us, are you kidding me? Okay, it, does, it doesn't hurt us if we don't hit anything. We're getting really unlucky with these um, with these dodges, though. Really unfortunate. These enemies in these later dungeons have much, much higher uh, dodge. So we're just seeing the, the reprimance of that, unfortunately. It's okay, though. We're getting dodges as well, as you can see, so I'm not too not too miffed about it. Noxious Lunge, so that's the attack that we want to make sure we don't get hit by. I'm, I, we, I don't actually know how much damage it does or what status effects it implies, but I'm going to imagine it's pretty brutal, considering. Um, we're going to go Steam Vent again. Oh, some other dodges there. Still, though, that's good, a good enough accuracy debuff. We're going to do that as well. Good damage. And get you two. Nice crit. And that's a huge amount of bleed on you, so you're pretty much dead. Then incinerate here. Beautiful. I don't know why it's doing 14 damage. It very clearly states that it does, like, 6 or whatever it is. I think it's 7, isn't it? Suffer 6 HP damage. Yeah, I don't know why it's... It's exacerbating that amount of damage. Maybe it's just that the skill's description doesn't increase with the level of the skill. And so originally it did 6 damage and now it's gone up to 14. It's very plausible. But that was a very, very well fought fight. Went went great. Uh, we're just going to top you up with a little bit of food. Not much because we still need a good amount of food here. But this is a really, really good system. We we actually haven't used um, Salamander's Breath at all yet. I'm kind of apprehensive to use it on these guys simply because it does a bit lower damage than Incinerate. And we do need to make sure essentially that we aren't going to get hit because we need to use our AoE heal to bring back that health. But... Essentially, what we could do is have all three of these guys uh, all use their uh, Salamander's Breath and Incinerate in a row for just absolutely massive AoE damage. And that is something that I do want to try. Can you stop touching things, Ash? I know you haven't been out in a while, but now you've got the creeping cough. Minus 20% damage. Oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. May we find victory. That is brutal. Okay, we've actually found the last quest location already. So we could we could dip out now if we really wanted to. I think we're gonna carry on a little bit, laden with loot. just because this team um, this team hasn't seen too much action yet. So we're gonna continue adventuring. But essentially, if things go south, we can just we can just back out. If things start to go poorly, we'll just back away because I don't want to get too greedy here. Um, in fact, you know what we'll do? We'll camp up, a moment of and we'll just go until we like need to leave so we'll go with power. this here for the research what we got here minus 25 stress okay meh. self only minus 27 oh my god we have an absolutely insane chance to surprise enemies now that's really good um oh, 
That's good. And there you go. That's put us in a really good spot, that has. Um, the, the chance that we have to surprise enemies is absurd now. Uh, for the next four battles, we have a very, very high chance to surprise enemies, which might mean that we can get some turn one insta-kills, maybe, if we play it right. I want to be careful. It depends on the enemies. But there are some situations in which we could get some really good turn one insta-kills. I'm kind of excited to see if we can do that. But the Friar's quest has been complete. We're on to the next stages. And the, by, for those of you that don't know, by the way, the Friar's quest is a pretty cool one. And we do get a very, very good trinket for completing it. So I'm excited to see if we can manage to complete it soon. Uh, I think the last mission is a level six one, though. So we've got a battle here. Okay, this is probably the perfect example. I think we go... It's unfortunate that we get her first, but I think we go... Buff you up. We go like that. Like that. Oh, mm. at least it doesn't hurt him, but it's so annoying that he keeps missing that. I think it's because we have a negative quirk that's lowering his accuracy, if I remember correctly. The one problem with um, surprises is, is these guys are going to get a good few turns in a row. Especially the dog. Oh, that is harsh. That is harsh. I hate to see that. Oh, that's that's rabies as well, isn't it? Nope. We're good. That was that was bad. We should be okay here. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Don't do it again, thank God. Um let's quickly get rid of that bleed. Nice. The wounds of war can be healed. Good, good. Never hidden. Just you want to get AoE he kills with this guy, because it's going to proc both of these. Works out really well, actually. Get a bit of bleed on you. Go for that. I don't really get how you set slime on fire and make it bleed, but hey her. Oh. Unfortunately, he's bringing in reinforcements. We need a big heal on Ash, really. Oh, thank... That, that, that works out great. <laughs> we got two turns in a row there. Nice crit. You're going down very quickly. Beautiful to see. Yeah, we get extra damage received there because we don't, we'd used it recently. It's to stop you from spamming it. It's a, good, it's a good system, to be fair, but there you go. Got through them, guys. We're going to take the Citrine, because I'd rather have the money right now. Uh, but yeah, that was that was great. And of course, we got the surprise there as well, which is just fantastic. And um, we'll just keep pushing on. This group is still ready. Uh, I'll do a little bit of food healing here. And this, this team, they are setting the whole forest ablaze. There's going to be smoke sky high covering the entire hamlet shrouding it shrouding it in flames Let me grab ourselves careful there yeah that, i like careful replace strong vigor but that's fine okay relatively easy bit of combat here especially considering we didn't get surprised but especially considering we can get past stealth stealth isn't a big problem for us um how much damage is that going to do to you? Do you know what? Oh, missed anyways. Yeah, 6 to 11 is pretty good, but it missed anyways. So. <laughs> what do I know? There we go. Look at that. I'm always scared when I use that because 14 health gone is a very high amount. But if we, can, if we can follow up with one of those, it ain't so scary. Sad miss there, unfortunately. Um, let's buff you up again while we can. Why not? Uncle Grab, that's okay though. We're away from that. <sighs> Stealth and dodging. 41 dodge, pretty high. Nice dodge, no blight for us. Does allow us to use this once more, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to set you on fire instead. Wow, you dodged again. Almost, almost got you in one hit. Savage Maul there is probably going to hurt. Yeah, a little bit of bleed going. We'll probably cleanse that off of us. 
monsters but you're dead now anyways no intrinsic merit heal the party be considered a virtue. ah yeah let's let's cleanse this off of ourselves why not come on there we go we're hitting now we're hitting now and you're not which is great the hag hitting can, can lead to quite a lot of stress and we're getting a lot of very key dodges here and there you go you're bent to a crisp down with you these nightmarish creatures can be felled they can be beaten nice amount of gold here got a lot of deeds i'll probably keep those um yeah i'll keep everything i'm not gonna worry about jades pass through here last room and it does have one bit of combat so let's go for it finding the stuff is only the first test let's now go for it okay pretty easy bit of combat here as well i mean these enemies will probably get to go first and could end up giving us rabies be left unanswered. but let's just hope that doesn't happen right so let's go with a full heal here we're gonna go for just all of this the, these enemies will die here devour he is gonna get the heal unfortunately it's only five though it's fine oh really you missed if you'd have hit that they'd, they'd have all have been dead unfortunate oh you missed again what the hell <laughs> accuracy in these later dungeons it's a it's a problem it's an issue clearly oh my god the light. these guys have such high dodge nice heals there See, we actually came out with fine stress. We didn't really have to manage stress at all. Um, I think Ash having that uh, the Cherish Keepsake was definitely helping out, along with the heals and crits giving us some as well. Nice dab. Burnt to a crisp. Great. Nice one, guys. That was a really, really good journey out there. Achieved a lot. And while we end off this, we do have another diary entry coming in from uh, Strange Wonder again for Harlot, re um, Red the Harlot. Well, these last few weeks sure have been something, haven't they? Two of us died. A warrior of the sun and that woman, the healer. Never knew both of them. They don't seem like much of the types to travel to where I usually dwell. The young boy among them, uh, th th there was a younger boy among us, and he seemed uh, one with the strange monster living inside him. Seems he's rather devastated, though perhaps they knew each other. But then a new wave of people have shown themselves. Many more than usual in such a short amount of time. Perhaps I can get some coin. Hmm. Working with some of them. Indeed, Red. Indeed you can. Indeed you can. Right. Let's carry on going. We got uh, Aruki up to level 6 and Will up to level 6 as well. Great stuff. That was that, that went really, really well. That went really, really well. I was really glad to see you these guys. The Plot now. quest. Like Defend me. the hamlet. You are a part of this place. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't know that this was gonna happen immediately. But we we are ready. We gotta We gotta go. Um let's have a little look what we got here. Minus 20 stress, minus 10%. Uh, yeah, that's not really, really that great. Give us my damn syringe, where is it? I need it. I need my syringe back, please. Uh, don't think there's anything here that we desperately want, is there? But this looks awesome. Uh, right, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on here. Let's just have a little look-see if we've got any classes here that we can bring on. Uh, we have Scarlet, our assassin. Let's change you over to your red there. And then bring on Scarlet here. Scarlet is on. And this Scarlet can go. Um, and then let's have a look. Who else we got? Hollow Knight. This one is no more good to us. No, I, th I think everyone else we've got. We do have a new Mender. We do have a new Mender that we might want to bring on board. I think we will bring on a new Mender. 
because we lost ours. Oh, and we got the Veiled as well. The Veiled is a really cool class. We got the Veiled too. A, a new class that I've just recently acquired. So if you want to think about backstories for those, that would be very much appreciated. Looks like we'll be doing this quest next. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. I do not know what I need to do in terms of preparation. If any of you guys can give me uh, suggestions for who I want to bring out on this, I'm most likely going to need level sixes, I would assume. Um, but we'll leave it there. We'll go into just two more diary entries so we end this off. First of all, we've got an entry between Chasey, Dismas, Nil, and Trell. And this is by Cell. Chasey awoke in an unfamiliar bed, dazed but alive. Confused, she looked around the room as the whole world began to clear around her. She could vaguely hear voices coming from another room, but couldn't make out what they were saying. She took a deep breath, but the air stung in her sore throat as she coughed violently. The voices hushed and footsteps surrounded outside before coming to a stop at the door before it opened gen gently. Trell peeked into the room, Dismas and Nil barely visible behind. How long was I out? Chasey asked weakly. A few weeks, Trell replied calmly. His voice like a gentle rain. We had Isaac and Henry come by shortly after you passed out, but they weren't able to figure out the cause of your ailment. Chasey tried to sit upright, but the effort was too much for her and she nearly blacked out. Trell caught her and helped her into a relaxed posture. She smiled weakly before noticing that for the first time her clothes had been changed from what she last wore the day she passed out. She paused for a moment then blushed furiously. Eep! She squealed in an uncharacteristic uncharacteristically timid uh, before pulling sheets over her face. We had Mary come by and change our clothes as well as bathe you, according to Henry's orders. Don't worry, none of us were looking, Trell said disarmingly. Promise, Chasey asked quietly. I don't think I'm capable of lying. All this, is, uh, all this talking is making me feel exhausted. I'll try to talk once more tomorrow, once I've rested. Wow, that, that was fantastic. I love these interactions between characters. Cell has such prominent and powerful character backstories that I feel they lend themselves so nicely to these interactions between each and uh, like between one another. And it really creates some very, very interesting uh, diaries and backstories. And we have one more to finish it off by Ar Arik at the Duelist this from, from Blank Gaming. My first expedition played out just about how I expected it to. It went smoothly with no losses. But I do have to give it to those fish folk. Some, I do have to give those fish folk some props. They didn't fall to my blade as quickly as I expected. Some even managed to hit me. The others sent along with me also did well. Um, for a wild man and a cultist, that is. But one did grab my attention. A woman, best by the light, smiting down furs. She seems powerful. We might just get along. Indeed you might. But yes, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. We have a lot to do on the next episode. I really don't know what to expect on this next quest. So please, please give me any advice you can. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.